my proud old rooster. What is wrong with a stranger's money? It is not your money. It is you. We simply do not play with strangers. Now, what did you say? Are you calling me a cheat? I'll make you swallow those words, old man. Ah. Let go of him, senor. Stay out of this, Diego. Yes, stay out if you know what's good for you. Now, take back what... You are disturbing the peace, senor. That is against the law. No man strikes me, senor, without paying the penalty. I demand satisfaction. The Walt Disney Studio presents Zorro, starring Guy Williams. Sergeant? Of course he's good. He... Don Diego, and is this? Not being a swordsman, you wouldn't know. But you can take it from one who does. He's good. Who else would like to risk a small wager? Come, do not be afraid, gentlemen. I will not harm you. It is merely a test of skill. I know of only one swordsman who could beat the Senor Avila. You're absolutely right. Sergeant Garcia, why don't you take him on? Me? Oh, no, Don Diego. I, I, I'm not that good. Besides, I don't have a single peso. I have a peso. Stupid. When I don't want a peso, you have it. When I do want one, you don't have it. When I want your money, I ask for it, don't I? Ah, here is a man who is not afraid. How much, senor? Five pesos. Oh, does it have to be quite so small? Make it ten, perhaps. Five is all I have. Gentlemen, come, come. Surely there must be one swordsman among you. How about you, senor? You uh, do not wear any scars. Therefore, I must assume that you are an expert with a sword. Oh, senor, you uh, may also assume that I do not wear any scars because I do not fight. Senor de la Vega may not be a swordsman, senor, but he is an expert in other matters, such as... Books and fine wines. Ah, oh, yes. I seem to have heard of your reputation. That would account for the lack of scars? Anyone else care to test his skill? This Avila, Sergeant, uh, what do you know about him? Nothing, Don Diego, except he has a reputation for dueling. You saw for yourself, he, he is a professional swordsman. I doubt if even Zorro could beat him. I wonder. Oh, I speak from experience, Don Diego. I have fought the fox many times and lost. Of course, Barboso, the man doesn't live who can beat Zorro. I guess that is why I am still alive. Sergeant, uh, why don't we pursue the subject further? Perhaps uh, over some refreshments? I was just about to suggest it, Don Diego. Now, you may lend me the peso, Carpal Reyes. 
Gracias. This time, you will be my guest. It'll be a pleasure, Sergeant. At this rate, we will never reach San Juan. We must get a large sum of money quickly. What better way than de la Vega? His father is the wealthiest don in this part of the country. You mean provoke him into a duel? Why not? We've done it before. Yeah, but the young one is soft. I doubt if he would fight to protect the family honor. So Papa de la Vega settles the whole thing quietly for a nice sum. Huh? Look out for him, senores. He's a sly old fox when it comes to the cards. Sly enough to teach you a few tricks, my son. Would you not join us? Uh, perhaps later, father, but uh, right now, Sergeant Garcia is going to play host. Really? He just negotiated a loan from Corporal Reyes. <laughs> <laughs> Here, it's your deal. <laughs> Buenos dias, senores. Buenos dias. May I join you? I am sorry, the chair is occupied. On the contrary, it seems quite empty. I said the chair was occupied, senor. In that case, let us remove the occupant. You force me to use words that I do not choose to use. We do not play with strangers. Now, will you excuse us? Just a minute, my proud old rooster. What is wrong with a stranger's money? It is not your money, it is you. We simply do not play with strangers. Now, what are you say? Are you calling me a cheat? I'll make you swallow those words, old man. Let go of him, senor. Stay out of this, Diego. Yes, stay out if you know what's good for you. Now, take back what... You are disturbing the peace, senor. That is against the law. No man strikes me, senor, without paying the penalty. I demand satisfaction. My second will call on you tonight. Excuse me, friends. We'll finish our game another time. I'm sorry, Father. Please, Don Diego, do not fight Senor Avila. He will kill you. Not a very happy prospect, is it, Sergeant? If you can think of a way out of it, let me know. Come on. Do not blame yourself, son. It was only natural for you to come to my defense. The trouble is, Father, I don't know when to think like Zorro, when to act like myself, or what's expected me. I don't know anymore. One thing is certain. You cannot fight this man as Diego de la Vega. I could fight him clumsily. I've done that before. No. To survive against such a swordsman, you will have to use the skill of Zorro. Risk my identity? Better to risk that than to endanger your life. Corporal Reyes, you carry these. Hi, Sergeant Garcia. Corporal, come in. We ain't as tired as Don Diego. We ain't as tired as Don Diego. And could we have a word with you, please, uh, Don Diego? Why, oh, certainly. Uh, you do not have to leave, no, Alejandro. It is quite all right, Sergeant. My son and I were just passing the time of day. Well, uh, what can I do for you? Nothing, Don Diego. We have come to do something for you. Really? See. Si. We are going to give you the benefit of our expert knowledge in the manly art of dueling. It won't take long. Sergeant, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Heaven must have sent you. Oh, no, it was our idea. Put on the mask, please, Don Diego. I don't want you to get hurt. Uh, Sergeant. 
where do I put it? Why, on the head, of course, Don Diego. <laughs> Diego, over the face, like this. Uh, uh, no, Corporal. I think I will learn much faster by watching you two. An excellent idea, Don Diego. I don't know why I didn't think of it. I do. Shut up and put the mask on. <laughs> Now, would you mind stepping back a little, Don Diego, please? <coughs> Don Diego, will you be kind enough to give the signal to start? Stupid, wait for the signal. I got the signal. On guard! Did you give the signal, Don Diego? On guard. I'd like to thank you both very much. Uh, Sergeant, you've clearly shown me the mistakes a man should not make. See, Don Diego, that is what I was trying to do. Show you the mistakes a man should not make. <sighs> Come along, Private Reyes. Corporal Reyes. Private. Am I playing bother you, Father? Frankly, yes, Diego. You should be more concerned with the problem of fighting a duel, or rather, not fighting one. Well, I am concerned. I... I just don't know what to do. No. Not until someone gives me one good reason why Zoro should get mixed up in this. See who that is, Bernardo. Be good enough to tell Don Diego de la Vega that Senor Pineda is here to arrange the time and place of the duel. Please come in. You have a message for me, Senor? Senor Avila will meet you in the patio garden at the tavern at 12 o'clock noon tomorrow. You may tell Senor Avila that I will be there. My father will act as my second. Oh, uh, there is just one other little matter. I do not wish to alarm you, Don Diego, but my friend, Senor Avila, is truly a great swordsman. He has killed many men, but he's not particularly interested in killing you. No, I'm not particularly interested in being killed, if there's a way to avoid it. There is, Senor. You are rich. Senor Avila is poor. You would not even miss the few thousand pesos it would take to satisfy his honor. May we show you to the gate, senor? Uh, this what? way. Like that, eh? Yes, Bernardo. It is now a job for Zorro. Good luck, my son. Thank you, Father. Get to another ready for me, then take yourself off to bed. Private Reyes, you remain here with the horses. Oh, it's you again, Sergeant. See, si, Don Diego. 
Could I have a few words, please? Oh, Sergeant, I'm in a hurry, so if you'll be brief, what's troubling you? It is my horse that is troubling me, Don Diego. He has gone lame. Would you be kind enough to take a look at him? All right. Corporal? Uh, he was limping, like this. Hey, Sergeant, which leg is it? Uh, this one. I'm referring to the horse. Oh, uh, that one. Forgive me, Don Diego. It was for your own good. Carry him to the woodshed and tie him securely. Uh, don't forget to gag him so he cannot utter a sound. What has upset you, Bernardo? Bernardo. He's in the cave. Zorro. Zorro did not come home? Zorro's cape. His sword. They are in the secret room. Something has happened. Get the carriage right away. Excuse me, Sergeant Garcia. Have you seen my son, Diego? Oh, not this morning, Don Alejandro. Are you worried because he didn't come home all night? Uh, yes. How did you know? Well, that is usually the reason for a father's worry. Uh, Don Diego probably spent the night with a sick friend. He might have been attacked by a highwayman. Maybe he's lying somewhere with his head all bashed in. Uh, don't worry, Don Alejandro. No harm has come to him. He is tied up. Uh, I mean, he is probably tied up in some business transaction. I hope you're right, Sergeant. If you see him, send word to me at once. Of course, Don Alejandro. And I will tell Senor Avila that the duel is off. You do not understand, Sergeant. It is an affair of honor. If my son does not appear, then I must fight Avila myself. Blunderer, now see what mess you got us into? Me? You see, it was your idea to kidnap Don Diego, wasn't it? You thought it was a good one. You even made me a corporal again. We haven't got time to quibble. Hurry. We must go to the hacienda and free Don Diego from the woodshed. Matters. Remember? I'm sorry, Don Alejandro, but Don Diego hasn't been here today. You have come to explain your son's tardiness, eh, Don Alejandro? My son has been unavoidably detained, but he will appear. Of course. In the meantime, I should like to drink to your good health. A bottle of your best wine, innkeeper. Si, senor. Take the money to my room and wait for me. You are mistaken, Senor Avila. I did not come here to pay blackmail. My son will be here. Don't try to bluff me, old man. Your son is taken to the hills where he cringes in fear of his life. The De La Vegas have water in their veins. That leaves two scores to settle, Senor. This will cost you double. I will settle the scores for both me and my son. He refuses to pay? He is proud and stubborn. But his cries of mercy will bring the young one quick enough. They will pay.
given me your final answer, Don Alejandro? Very well, Penena. Give the signal. Long out. Ready, gentlemen? on your head, Senor Zorro, and I shall be pleased to collect it. fighting Senor Avila. seem to be here, senor. Now, shall we continue? Throw him his sword, senor. He does not deserve mercy. Finish him. Throw him his sword, senor. Senor, there's the first. And that's the other one. If I ever see you again, Senor, I'll kill you. Amigos, I leave Senor Avila in your hands. See that he leaves town quickly. You are under arrest, Senor Zorro. You must give yourself up. Please? As you wish, Sergeant. <laughs> after him, Corporal, after him! Adios, amigos. He's getting away! Hurry, through the gate! <laughs> Next week, a priceless chalice of gold turns an honest man into a thief. I'll take it now. There's very little market for chalices, my son. This will mean a whole new life for me. Oh, no, my son. It'll mean the old one behind bars again. It is indeed a beautiful thing, senor. An exciting drama, a thrilling adventure, a surprising climax are yours next week with Zorro. Out of the night when the full moon is bright comes a horseman known as Zorro. This bold renegade carves 
the sea with his blade, a sea that stands for sorrow. Sorrow, who makes the sign of the sea. Sorrow! 